bolj počas, ki si navarim, v redu? Čili ne. Ne daj, ne daj, ne daj, ne daj, ne daj, ne daj, ne daj. Dobar dan, učenci. Seznanju vas bom z najnovnejšo opremo, ki jo uporabljam pri športnem plezanju. To je vsa športna oprema, oziroma plezalna oprema, ki jo uporablja športni plezalec. Se pravi plezalni pas, plezalke, brečka za magnezi, čelada, vrv z ustrezno podlogo, plezalna vrv, ena uponka, več kompletu ki jih uporabljamo za upenjene vrkline in pa varovalo plus še dodatna uponka, ki je potrebna na varovalo. To je plezalni pas. Plezalni pas je sestavljen iz pasu, to je ta del, in pa iz nožnih zank. V mesto tu spredaj še tri zanke, ki povezuje te dve manjši zanki, je 
varovanja zanka, uporabila se za varovanje, tu se ostavila, v to zanko se ostavila varovalo. Naslednji so prezalni čevlji, prezalni čevlji, ki so lahko z na ješke ali pa na vezalke, to je v bistvu vse eno. Bolj pomembno pa je, da so prezalke, da je velikost prezalk ta prava. Tretji pomembno del opreme je magnezi vrečka. Brez magnezi vrečke ne gre. V vrečki je magnezi, s katerim si natremo roke in prste, da nam na opremkih ne drsi. Obvezna je tudi uporaba čelade. Čelada mora biti takšna alpinistična, plezalna čelada. Obvezna je plezalna na vrvu. Ta vrv je dinamična. To pomeni, da se pri padcih precej raztegne in oblaži padec, tako da ne pristanemo trdo, ampak mehko. Seveda je treba na vrvu past, zato je obvezna uporaba tudi podloge. Potem uporabljamo še eno takšno uponko ali matičarko, ki se uporablja v skrajni sili na vrhu smeri. Potem so tu še obvezni del opreme, so kompleti. Kompleti treba imeti več odvisno od dolžine smeri. In potem je jasno, Nojno za našo varnost, potrebno tudi varovalo in pa uponka na varovalo, ki si jo zdaknemo za varovalno zanko na paso. The World Championships and uh, combined and everything, but I mean. <laughs> I have to say, I mean, she's still a human. I mean, she might be Yan Yagan, but, but you have to forget, like, she's still a human being who, <laughs> who doesn't, like, doesn't mean she has to win every comp. It's people have, like, such high expectation on her. And it must be, like, really hard for her as well. Like, yeah, just absolutely. everywhere where she goes, everyone expects her to win. Uh, they, they, that, I think that's, that's the difference. That's a massive pressure. I think that's the difference. They expect her to win. I yeah. mean, when your brother climbs, people think he could. Case of perspective, I guess. And sometimes it's just a feeling. Maybe you still climb well, but you don't feel that good. Apologies again for the adjective. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Not going to be invited <laughs> anytime soon again. <laughs> uh, no, we, we, uh, you're very popular on the live stream, <laughs> but I have to. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. Now it looks like she's got plenty of time. Well, she still has to move pretty soon, I guess. And she's like, wrong position there. You can see her again looking over. If you wonder what she's looking at, there is a massive clock facing up to the wall that the climbers can see when they're on en route. Yeah, she looks really good now. She just has to make sure to keep moving. Uh, so that's, we saw Mia Crample clipping the previous quick draw from there. Uh, Yanya chooses to clip that one that's the final quick draw before the top you go uh, from there to the top so that's her on to hold 39 heading out now to number 40 there's one more green volume where, where Kim uh, Shane slipped off <gasps> and Yanya slips as well <laughs>